iteachgeek.com. <laughs> Ask Brian. That's me. Welcome to iTeach Geek. I'm your host, Rashad. I'm here to show you how to install file services on Server 2008. And uh, if you don't really know what file services is, it's, it's, it's basically where you can share files from your server from other computers on your network. So uh, it's two different ways you can go ahead and do it. You go ahead and add a role. And you go to File Services and you, and you can go ahead and install it. Or a little more easier way. We can, we're going to make this one in the C drive. So I'm going ahead and make a folder. We can call it share. Now, what we need to do now is right click, properties, go to the sharing tab, and let's go ahead and share. Now, it, it already shows the people that you can share with administrators and, su and such for, but we want to go ahead and add some people. So we go ahead and press share down there at the bottom and here we go. This folder is shared. Press done. Now the folder is shared. It shows you the path or where it is. Now we can go to security. Let's go to advanced. And let's go ahead and change permissions. I want to add somebody. So I have a user in here. His name is A. Brian for Axe Brian. That's his name. And if you're not sure if that's the right name, you can always do check names and they'll find it for you. See? Perfect. Press OK. Now we're going to tell it what we want Brian to be able to do. Full control or whatever you want to do. You really don't want to give nobody full control. You really want to give somebody to read. And that's probably it. You really don't really want to get too much full control. You want to go ahead and get him read permissions. You don't really want him to change anything. Or you don't want him to be able to delete it. Depends on who it is. All right. Let me go ahead and press OK. Go, go ahead and press OK. OK. Now, we have a share folder right here that Brian, the user, can see. So we can go ahead and put a file document it text document open it up we're gonna put in here can you see this we go ahead and save control s All right, now we're gonna to go to our client machine and see if Brian can see it. Remember, if you don't know your path, right click, go to properties, sharing, and there goes the path to it. Hack, hack, ask Brian, hack, share. Uh, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't really remember that, you always can use your, you can use your IP address. So you can go hack hack IP address slash share. So let's go ahead and go to the client machine and see if we can see if Brian can see it. All right, we're on the client machine now. Let's see if Brian can see it. The easiest way for you to see if you can see something, just go to start. Right here in the search bar, you can put it in there. Hack hack, ask Brian slash share. Oh, there it goes. If he didn't have you to add him to have access, he wouldn't be able to see it. Now he can open it. Brian can't access it. Hmm. We're wondering why can't Brian access this? Sometimes you have to log off for the person to see it if you did it while they're on. So let's go ahead and log off. 
Let's log back in. All right, now we're back in. You should be able to see it the last time, but if you can't, try to log off. Now, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna go hack hack. We're gonna go ahead and click on this. Now notice that Windows 7 remember the path. So you go ahead and click on it. There it goes. Boom. And that's off the server. So that's how you share files from server to client. Now if you still can't access it, make sure you go back to your server and double check the the permissions. So let's go ahead and go back so we can double check just in case you couldn't get on it. Back on the server, so we're going to right click, properties, security, go find the user you had, and make sure that his checks are read and execute. And uh, if it's not, go ahead and just press this edit button, and then click on his name. You just click on read, execute, and press OK. After that, you should be able to see the folder. So from there on, you can share files with any computer that's connected to the domain. Um, I'm your host, Rashad. Thanks for watching.